Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. Last night, we have uploaded a video with regard to solving quadratic equations in uh, by factoring. And you can see it here. And also, I can leave the link sat in the description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots, let me remind you that this method, extracting the square root, is one of the methods na meron tayo in solving quadratic equations. So we have factoring, extracting the square roots, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. And sana ma-master nyo yung topic natin about this. So before we start, meron tayong square root property in solving quadratic equations. Sabi dito, if x squared is equal to k, then x is equal to positive negative square root of k for all non-negative real numbers k. So dito, when we extract the square root of x squared, that is equal to x. And when we extract a non-negative real number k, it will give us two different values. One is positive and the other is negative. So for you to find out more about this property and about this method that us solve different examples of quadratic equations. In number one, we have x squared is equal to 49. As you can see, this one is already in the form x squared is equal to k. So basically, what we need here is to extract the square root of each of the side of the equations, like this one. Let's get the square root of x squared and the square root of 49. So, again guys, um, another reminder lang pala, if you want to know, or if you want na mas madali ang maging solving mo rito, you need to memorize the perfect squares and the square root of perfect square numbers. Okay, let's continue. The square root of x squared is x. And based on our given square root property, kapag nag-extract tayo ng square root, it will give us two different values. One is positive and the other is negative. So the square root of 49 is not just 7. That is positive, negative, 7. So what does it mean guys? If we have x is equal to positive 7 and negative 7. It simply means that your the first, the first value of x or x sub 1 is simply positive 7 or 7 and the second value or the second root of this equation is negative 7. That's it guys. Now let's continue with item number 2. In number 2, we are given x squared minus 8 is equal to 1. So here, it's not yet in this kind of ano, pattern or formation. So what we need to do is to manipulate the equation. So we need to eliminate negative 8 here to make it here on the other side of the equation. So, what's the step? To eliminate this, all we need to do is to add 8 on both sides of the equation. So as you can see, this negative 8 plus 8, that is 0, so it will be eliminated. So what will remain here is x squared. And on the other side of the equation, we have 1 plus 8, and that is equal to 9. And as you can see, we have the same pattern as number 1 and as this. Okay? So, next step natin dito, if we reach this kind of pattern, is that we will get the square root of this equation. Okay? Remember, we have positive and negative. The square root of x squared is x. And then, the square root of 9 is simply positive negative 3. Again, so what does, does it mean? You have two different roots. You have positive 3 and negative 3. So let's continue with item number 3. And by the way guys, uh, for those who are watching from TikTok, let me remind you that we have our YouTube channel, which is Matty Chergon. You can subscribe here to follow and watch more videos about your grade levels. So let's continue with number 3. For number 3, we have x squared plus 4 is equal to 31. 
same pattern with item number 2, we need to manipulate the equation. In other words, we need to eliminate plus 4. So what we need to do is to, is to subtract 4, both sides of the equation. So this will become 0, okay? Or this will become eliminated. So we will copy x squared. And then 31 minus 4 is what? 27. Okay? So for the 27, we need to get the square root of this and this. And remember, meron kang positive negative. Pero, 27 is not a perfect square. So how are we going to simplify this? So remember, we can factor out 27 like this one. 9 times 3. That is 27. And the square root of 9 is 3. So what we have here is the square root of 3. Meaning, to simplify square root of 27, since this one is not a perfect square, you need to factor it out. So one must be a perfect square and the other is not. So it will become 3 square root of 3. And the answer here is simply, we will continue it here, is x is equal to positive negative 3 square root of 3. Okay? So these are the possible roots. So the roots are 3 square root of 3 or negative 3 square root of 3. So let's continue with number 4. In number 4, this one is quite different from the previous examples. As you can see, we have here x minus 2 squared is equal to 16. Don't worry because this one is not difficult. So as you can see, this one is already in this pattern. So we can easily extract the square roots here. Get the square root of this and remember you have positive and negative. In getting the square root of this, all you need to do is to cancel out this one and your exponent. So what will remain is that we only have x minus 2 and on the other side of the equation, the square root of 16 is equal to positive negative 4. But we're not yet done because this one is not, uh, the variable x is not yet isolated. So what we need to do is to eliminate negative 2 by adding both sides of the equation by 2. So what will happen? So instead of adding, I will just transpose this to the other side of the equation. So it will become x is equal to positive negative 4. From negative, when you transpose a term, it will become positive 2. So we will solve for the first value of x, x sub 1. Sir, so how? Use the first positive 4. Use positive 4. That is 4 plus 2. Meaning, your x sub 1 is equal to 6. This is the first root or solution of this quadratic equation. Next, for x sub 2, since we are done using the positive 4, again, in x sub 1, we use positive 4. In x sub 2, we will use the negative 4. So that is negative 4 plus 2. And x sub 2 is simply negative 2. And these are the roots of the fourth quadratic equation. 6 and negative 2. Now let's continue with more examples. We have here number 5, 6, and 7. In this number 7, this will serve as your assignment. Okay? For number 7, we have here 2x squared minus 18 is equal to 0. First, as you can see, your x squared has the coefficient of 2. So our target here is to eliminate that coefficient. So I will trans transpose first 18 or I will add both sides of the equation by 18. So plus 18. So it will become, this one will become 0. So we have now 2x squared is equal to 0 plus 18 which is equal to 18. Our next step is to cancel out 2 by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. Cancel, cancel. You have now x squared is equal to 18 divided by 2 which is equal to 9. Extract the square root. 
extract the square root, don't forget the positive and negative. So we have here x is equal to the square root of 9, which is positive negative 3. And this is the answer here. Okay? Next, let's move on to item number 6. For number 6, mm, this one needs a little bit of manipulation. We need to eliminate first 25 by adding 25 on both sides of the equation. This will become 0. So what will remain here on the left side of the equation is simply x plus 10 squared. And on the other side, we have 0 plus 25. So that is 25. So as you can see, this pattern or this kind of equation is the same as this in item number 4. So what we need to do is to extract the square root, get the square root, get the square root, and this is positive negative. So we need to eliminate this and this exponent. So what we have now is x plus 10 is equal to positive negative square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Our next step is to transpose 10 to the other side. It will become x is equal to positive negative 5. From positive, it will become negative 10. So now, we are ready to compute for x sub 1. Your x sub 1 is first using the positive 5, that is 5 minus 10, meaning your x sub 1 is simply negative 5. This is the first solution. Now, for x sub 2, or the second solution, we have to use the negative 5. We have negative 5 minus 10. So we have x sub 2 is equal to negative 15. And voila! This is the second value of x. So, let's summarize first, guys. So, we, what we need to do here in extracting the square roots is that we need to convert or manipulate the equation in which our target is to, to copy this kind of form. We have x squared is equal to k. And then, extract the square roots. And remember, um, if your k is positive, remember, guys, if your k is positive, you can have two different values of x. Okay? And if your k is 0, you only have one value of x. And if your k is negative, wala ka makukuwang real value of x. And for number 7, this will serve as your assignment. Okay? So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, you can fo follow me here, starting Facebook page. We have this Facebook page, Ako si Teacher Gon. Follow me here, guys. And marami-marami salamat. Bye-bye!